Hi everyone, this is Rick at Tasty Guitar. Well, if there was ever any doubt about the roots of soul and R&B music, one just needs to look to the Stax Museum of American Soul Music in Memphis, Tennessee, and see the real turn of the century Mississippi Delta Church reassembled inside the building. It's quite a sight. Today, I'm gonna to show you three fairly simple gospel-inspired chordal licks. Now, these will sound great over really common chord progressions and will take your rhythm playing to a new level of soulfulness. So let's jump right in. Okay, now this first lick works really great in replacing just a regular kind of dominant chord groove. Like say if you were just grooving on a seven chord or a nine chord or something like that. This would work really well replacing that or uh, also to be a second part if somebody else is playing that kind of groove and you want to do something different. Now this is basically starting on kind of a G minor shape up here. I'm sliding into this and I'm giving it a little bit of a vibrato. This is to kind of emulate the sound of a vibrato on an organ, kind of. Just give it a little shake. I'm then going to grab these notes right down here, uh, barring my first finger. Back here. Ending on just that G triad right there. Okay, now here that is again in time. We are starting on the end of three. One, two, three. Okay, this next lick is also based off of just a dominant chord here. This time we're playing over A7. And we're starting on this uh, A9 shape right down here. We got the 9, the B note, the 5, and the flat 7. We're going to hit that really short and cut it off. So we're starting on the second beat. One, two. Okay, we're then going to go up to this A6 shape here, hitting the third the sixth, the F sharp note, and the root. And we're going to hit that and cut it off really quickly also. So, so far what we have is this one, two, and one, two. Okay, we're then going to go up to this G shape, slide into that. One, two. And then we're just go back where we started in reverse. We're cutting these notes off. Okay, so here it is again in time. Remember, we're starting the lick on the second beat. One. 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 Two. One. This last lick works really well over a 2-5 progression, and I played it in the key of uh, A, so I did it over a B minor to an E dominant chord to the 1, the A there. Okay, I'm starting on this B minor shape up here at the 10th fret, and I'm going to hit it really short and cut it off. Then I'm going to go to this A shape, the B minor, top of a B minor chord right there. So this first part is actually a triplet, 
one and uh and I'm going to continue on down to hit that top of an A chord right there. Okay, I'm going to then slide back to this A shape up here at the ninth fret. And then end at the seventh fret there, but then we're doing the change. So that's actually the top half of a E9 chord. So what we have is this. Now you can also put a couple different types of endings on this. Instead of sliding up to that A chord at the end, we could do this little chromatic move here. That's a nice sound. Or So all those different endings are in the tab as well. Okay, so here's that one in time again. I'll also do it with those alternative endings. Alright guys, thank you so much for stopping by today and checking out these three gospel inspired chordal licks. I really hope you enjoyed it and it can get some great use out of them putting into these common chord progressions and giving your rhythm playing some real soul. As always, if you did enjoy the video, please like, um, subscribe and share it and come by tastyguitar.com where I have a lot of other videos for you and I do teach private lessons via Skype. This has been Rick. Thank you very much.